Hi, this is Hey, how are you doing? This is uh, Antonio calling with uh, John Sodmez in Bulldog Mindset. Oh, yeah, how's it going? Thanks for uh, giving me a call. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I just seen you kind of getting uh, not, not fully connected here, so I thought I'd just reach out and see if now is a good time to talk. Uh, do you got about 10 minutes or so? Uh, I do, yeah. Now is a good time. Yeah? Okay, perfect. And I was just kind of looking at the notes. It wasn't very clear. Like, have you actually spoken with Jason already on the phone or no? Um, so I think I spoke with Jason. Um, <clears throat> that's, um, I think that's who I spoke with. Um, and like, he kind of gave me like somewhat of like the rundown of the program and like, maybe not all of it, but, um, I, and but the guy, like, I was at the time. I was I wasn't as like quite ready to to make a decision. Um, right. And um, yeah, I just uh, but yeah, I guess um, uh, yeah, no, I appreciate you checking back in. Like, um, yeah. like I I definitely um, you know, it's something I'm interested in. I just maybe partly maybe it's a good idea to just get a reminder you know like what the program is consists of and like um to see if it's a good fit if that makes sense yeah for sure and it was like um was it like the beginning of december of last year when you spoke roughly yeah i think it was towards the end yeah like probably towards the end of the year um and Yeah. So just I, um, just to yeah. kind of give me um, a little bit of context, do you remember like you know exact at all like what what um, you know kind of Jason talked to you about? Um. So basically, I he did you know like I I uh, put in an application on the website and then they reached out. Yeah. And um they were um kind of talking about some of like the ins and outs of like the program, like and it I mean it definitely seems like the the per like the student or or um mentee like they can focus on whatever they want, I guess, whether it's like it gets like that like get farther in your job or your career or if you if maybe your focus is starting a business or maybe it's dating or um like it's it sounds like it's really up to the person and I guess like I was I wasn't it seems like um um remind me again who I was it I spoke with uh, um, I believe it was Jason, Jason. it seemed like it seems like Jason said it could it could be a good fit. Like I I think um maybe like your team would be be honest if maybe it wasn't a good fit or like maybe it's like a good fit like like down the line, like but I yeah. guess like just to, like what I'm I guess what I'm looking for and like is yeah what i'm looking for is um i so i'm a i'm a software developer and like i think the things i'm looking to focus mostly on is to just do better at my career at my job and then also develop like a plan to start a business um for like yeah. financial freedom and um you know, I researched somewhat about what John Sanmez did and some some like one of his um people that he coached um who um I think it was Dap University um the guy he he the guy who made that YouTube channel was one of his clients so and it, it seemed like it worked really well for him and like um like it seems like I don't I don't know if like I'm the right candidate, um and like 
but like I guess I don't know like um like what the I I don't know exactly like what like like what my like if I um sign up and like I guess what my day to day looks like or like what I should be expecting like because I'm you know I'm prepared to put in the time and the work yeah um but definitely um I I think maybe I'm I it seems like getting like coaching to like tell me like to help me focus on the right things like I don't expect John Steinmez to do all the work but it, yeah. it seems like he's he'll like point me in the right direction and then you know when I have time and and like maybe make a schedule and like a calendar to like put in like after like after work put in like you know a couple hours a day like it seems but like definitely like I think I could use guidance on like how, you know, like what maybe like a niche, what, what niche of a business I should start or like, um, like I, I definitely have a lot of ideas and, but definitely could use, uh, guidance if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's essentially, you know, you know, what John does is, is basically take, take people and kind of just see where they're at. Um, you know, first off, you know, understanding, you know, the current situation and what work they're doing there, seeing how, you know, he can help guide you in that situation to, to kind of make that to the best of its ability, you know, maximize your returns and what you're currently doing. And then also seeing, you know, if there's any way that to, you can, you know, expand on that, um, if there's an avenue there or potentially, you know, other, you know, other income streams, um, really mostly that would be. Uh, you know, online and, and scalable, right? When you, when you take your, when you can put something together that's more of an automated system, um, that way you can generate some income without really, you know, drawing too much away from your time. You know, of course, up front, there'll be a lot of work to, to actually make that happen. But obviously the end goal is to have it running, essentially once it's up and running, um, that it can kind of run on its own or with very little effort and time and energy, right? So yeah, this is something that he's got a lot of um, knowledge and experience with, um, you know, he can really help people uh, decipher through, you know, some ideas that already have existing and he can also sprinkle in some ideas that he has himself, obviously knowing, you know, the space and, and what works and what doesn't, you know, what type of models uh, or even like areas and industries um, that are set up for, you know, more of an automation and stuff like that. But really, you know, really giving that guidance and wisdom as to which direction to to move in right so um you said you mentioned you're in software development right now right mm -hmm. how how is that going for you um so i you know i've had i've had you know success up until um you know so far like i i you know switched careers um and went to like a coding boot camp and I got a job as an engineer, you know, developer as, as, at a startup. And, um, definitely I'm getting better, you know, every day, but I definitely think, um, maybe like I need to like, in, like, I, I, I think I'm getting better, but I don't know if I'm getting better fast enough and more talented and skilled, like building yeah. my skills and like like i know it's everyone's different but definitely i i think of my own self self reflection i think i should i need to start doing like adding more value and i'm um, still kind of slower um and yeah and like yeah i definitely think I have good mentorship at, um, at my, you know, my senior engineer, but like, it's, yeah, cause there, it, things move really fast and I'm at like a, like I, I kind of took a risk, like going for a smaller company and like, um, there's different, and like, I, 
I'm definitely get, like I definitely have an opportunity to like get more out of this experience and mm. just be, progress quicker and um and yeah. but yeah and yeah. it so like I, I which I'm doing like on my own like I t- I'm taking like classes and certifications on my spare time but but like sometimes like I I think my day to day like. I could be a lot more productive and maybe, uh, yeah, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and how long have you been doing that? Um, less than a year. So, I mean, I've been developing, um, coding for like, um, like since the, yeah, like I have been coding since like, was it like, yeah, like the end of 2020, but, but professionally less than a year. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> and, you know, let's just say, you know, obviously you have some, some aspirations, some goals that you want to move towards, you know, towards financial freedom, stuff like that. In terms of like your commitment level, like where do you say you're at in terms of, you know, really wanting to dig in and, you know, take, c- take control of this, this part of your life? Um, I'll be honest, I'm, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm, like, desperate, but maybe sometimes that's what it takes is you got, like, but, like, I'm, like, I'm definitely looking for results, and I'm a little frustrated about where I'm at right now, Um, and maybe that's just, like, mindset also, like, you got to fix that, like, I definitely believe, believe mindset's a big thing. Um, but so far, you know, I've, I've taken like risks and investments in myself. Like, I, I think I, um, like, I'm not afraid to like, like pay for something. Like I don't, I, I would, it'd be really disappointing if John's program was you know, not like, I, you know, I, nothing's guaranteed in this life. Like I get it, but there's always like, I wouldn't want this to be like a waste of my, my time or John's time. And, um, but like, I, I'm not, like, I'm not afraid. I definitely like, I, I went to a coding boot camp and, you know, I paid a lot of money for it and I got a job, like it worked out. And, and I, I, I definitely think I'm like, if it's the right opportunity, I, I, like I would be willing to make a, like a time and a financial commitment to to get to the next level, um, like to achieve like financial freedom. Um, you know, there's a lot of coaches out there. Um, and, and I'm definitely John seems like he's, you know, one of the better ones, but like, I, it's just hard. Like sometimes it's hard to like know what's the right thing for me. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, and I definitely think you're on the right track. <clears throat> and, you know, it's just a matter of a little bit of mindset. Uh, it really, you know, of course, you know, before jumping into something, you know, to getting a full grasp uh, of what exactly it is that, you know, how that's going to help you is is key. And, and, you know, we'll be able to help you with that. You know, everything you're talking about, um, really, this is just, you know, it's it's something that everyone kind of goes through at some point you know, just being a little bit unsure, you know, that's the whole point of having a mentor, uh, you know, someone to help guide you, you know, through these times that are a little bit, um, you know, hard to navigate through. So, but I guess like, you know, just in terms of John, um, you know, he's really looking for people that, you know, have really um, you know, made, made that, that decision that they're willing to, um, you know, look at this area of their life and, and go full bore at it, you know, as opposed to someone that's like, yeah, I'm not really sure if this is the right time, this and that kind of thing, you know, cause, cause really at the end of the day, um, you know, really we get, we get hundreds of submissions, you know, every month, you know, people wanting to work with him and, you know, John takes, takes quite a bit of time and effort and energy into connecting with his clients, uh, sitting down with them, you know, one, um, sorry, face to face, you know, over zoom, you're talking to them, uh, um, getting their plans started out stuff like that. There's only so much time during the day, you know, essentially is what I'm trying to say. And so, you know, he'd really love to help people. So he really has to limit his time to, you know, people that are, are just as committed as he is. 
you know, people that are, are really looking to achieve success, um, you know, following his footsteps, you know, creating, you know, scalable income streams, you know, growing them to get out of that, you know, the regular kind of, you know, race that we're all kind of in and really start building your net worth. Okay. So, uh, you know, he's well-versed. He can definitely, you know, really lay out a blueprint for you in a clear path forward to succeed to that financial freedom. You know, everyone has an opportunity to do it only if they are, you know, 100% committed to doing it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's just in terms of, uh, that's what he's looking for. So, you know, on a scale of one to 10, you know, just again, just so I, I can get a, you know, reassure myself of where you're at, you know, where would you, where would you scale yourself on one to 10 uh, of your commitment level to wanting to do this? You know, given that this is the, you know, after understanding the information that you feel this is the right fit for you, you know, how committed are you to doing that? Like I, I've, I've had really, like when I believed in myself, wanting to make like changes in my life, like I've had like, I can make, willing to make, um, you know, the commitments, like I've started like my own business before and I made a big time and financial investment in that. And I've done that with my career as a developer. Um, like I put time and, and money into it. And I've found those two successes. And I, like I'm, I'm looking to, uh, make another commitment to get to the next level of my career and in terms of like a financial freedom, I think that's maybe, I think that is something I'm really looking to work towards. Um, and yeah, John is the right guy to coach me. Um, I, I looking to commit, um, to something like I, I have a coach at my gym and usually I know my workouts or t typically my workouts are better, you know, when, when I'm coach when I'm coached versus when I'm work out by myself, like I can work out well by myself, but definitely when I have a coach, my workouts are like better in that, like in less time. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. If that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, through my experience, you know, through my own personal experience and also looking at, you know, other individuals, uh, really what seems to be, you know, the, the difference that makes the difference, you know, on top of obviously the, the right path and guidance is just having that accountability, you know, having a coach, someone that, that'll really, you know, as much as we want to be able to, um, you know, have the motivation and push ourselves, there's something different about having somebody behind you that's, that's going to hold you to what you say you want to do right? Uh, and doing it in a, in a, you know, supportive way. Um, and, you know, sometimes a little bit of tough love too, but whatever it takes for each individual to really get them on their way. So um, yeah, if that's what you're looking for, you know, I think this would be a really good fit. Now, you know, um, being committed to wanting to work towards your goals, all that kind of stuff is great. You know, you need to have that. Um, John needs to have people to have that in order to work with him. Uh, but that is, you know, one part of the equation. Now, the other part of the equation, you know, is is just the financial aspect of it. You know, obviously, we'll, we'll require, you know, an investment to work with John. So uh, do you mind if we just spend a quick minute or two? I'm going to ask you just a couple questions uh, just in terms of things financially. Sure. Okay. So, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being bad, 10 being great, where would you rate yourself right now, just financially speaking? Um. I think um, I'm at a seven. Um, like I would say, I'm pretty good, but that's the, the best that I've been a, a, ever in okay. my life. But seven, um, like I still have a lot of room for improvement because I still don't feel um, where I want. Like I want to be at ten. Gotcha. 
and you know obviously that's subject to everyone's got their own you know determination of, of what that means so just to give me a little bit more context you know what what does the seven mean to you exactly like just in terms of like your actual income like how much would you approximately say you make per month um i i'd say like probably on average um i make uh like 7k a month which okay. is i think that's pretty like route pretty good um but it's not where i want to be um gotcha and is that is that gross or net um net net like after taxes you're well, pulling probably a little money. less after taxes gotcha yeah okay yeah probably yeah and just in terms of you know uh, you know, your living expenses, and stuff like that, you know, how much do you say, you know, you're able to put aside after, you know, every month after, you know, all your expenses and stuff like that, just roughly? Um, probably, um, well, I've been investing a lot. Like at my, I have a house. Um, like I have equity in my house, and but typically I, I'm saving like one, but probably like two k a month. Okay, gotcha. And you know, just ballpark, how much have you, you know, do you have put aside, you know, right now in total? Um, uh, I have like three k put aside. Okay. And then, you know, just, you know, I know we kind of just kind of flipped the page on the calendar year here. What have you, uh, you know, set up for yourself goal wise, you know, just in terms of your career and, and income, you know, what goals have you set up this year for yourself? Um, my financial goals are to uh, pay off, uh, like I just made some ho home improvements, so just pay off those. Um, and um, get a either start working towards or get or, or, or actually get a, another stream of income. Yeah. Um, and, or, and like work set myself up for um one or or more streams of income and definitely just increase my savings cuz um yeah I've been um I just been like I have like I've been paying off like just some hot like my house uh improvements and stuff yeah gotcha okay so you know like I mentioned earlier, you know, obviously to, um, you know, achieve your goals and stuff like that, you know, and work with John obviously will require, you know, an investment in the beginning. So, you know, we've realized that, you know, if you want to reach, you know, financial freedom and get on that path, you know, as quickly as, you know, within six months, you know, which is John's program, his mentorship, the six month time frame, um, would require an investment of approximately three to five K USD. Um, would it be possible to like, to do some type of like financing too, like if put down some of it, like, and then pay off the rest over time? Um, I yeah, I mean, that's something, that. you know, typically, you know, our clients do pay, you know, in full upfront, but for certain clients, you know, if, if they're needing to kind of work it out a little bit over the time frame, uh, yeah, we can work with you. I don't know what that looks like exactly. That's something to talk with um, John's assistant, Jason. He can really go over the details of that. But yes, yeah, we can we can work something out with you. Okay, so I could potentially get um, uh, do it in full also. But I just if that's a, potentially an option, just 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 wanted to know all the options I have. Okay, yeah, fair enough, Scott. 
So, you know, I guess, you know, just my question to you is, you know, if you were to see the value in John's program and knew that, you know, you are 100% able to reach and achieve your goals that you set out for yourself, would you say you are financially capable and willing to, you know, make that investment in yourself, you know, like right now? Um, I would make it work because I think it's, the investment will pay off. Yes, definitely. You know, assuming that I put in the work and um and John puts in the work from his end. Yeah, I'll 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 be you know, um, what how do you say? You know, all things not all things aside, but granted that obviously you're going to put in the time and effort. Um, John already has a system that he knows works. Um, uh, he's putting the time and effort. You know, success is not is not magic. You know, it's yeah. a blueprint to it. You know what I mean? And all it is is a matter of really. Um, you know, understanding, you know, the the keys to success, um, knowing what roadblocks to watch out for so you can mitigate the risks as much as possible. And then really just having, you know, someone of with experience that can really help guide you through the ups and downs of it. You know, as you know, you know, there's always going to be, you know, challenges in life, um, you know, especially if you're looking for success. Um, and the people that that actually make it are just the people that are able to navigate their way through um you know a little bit of you know adversity that that they're know that they're going to experience so to have someone that's kind of been there done that uh and can guide you through it is really the key that that makes it all happen like i said granted that you're going to be there to put in the effort um mm-hmm. it's it's, yeah. it's possible you know i mean it's, it's almost guaranteed if you do it and stick with it so um yeah um that being said you know if you wanted to move forward um like if i set you up on a call with John's assistant, Jason, and you want to move forward um, just in terms of like payment, stuff like that, are your, are your resources liquidly available to you? Um, yeah, I'll be able to make it work. Okay. And just in terms of, you know, making that decision, wanting to move forward, you know, is this kind of solely based on like yourself to decide this or do you have a partner or something like that, that you, you know, want to run it by? Um, no, it would just be me, just my, just myself. Um, I mean, I, like, I may, like, talk to my family, but, um, but I just live by myself. Gotcha. And, you know, just in terms of, like, timeline, stuff like that, you know, if you want to move forward, you know, how soon would you be looking to get started with John? Um, I mean, maybe it'll be, uh, uh, like, maybe, like, I don't know, when that, like, like, I guess maybe, like, a month, I don't know. Okay. Gotcha. Just, uh, that's. I don't know if it's, but if it's like, if it ends up being like two months or whatever, it's not a big deal or, or if it's yeah. like two weeks. Okay. I hear you. So, whatever. So Scott, you know, based on everything we talked about here, you know, the direction you're looking to move towards uh, the type of, you know, guidance I think you're looking to have. Uh, I think we can help, you know, you definitely seem, uh, you know, like something, this is, you know, you've put a lot of thought into this. Uh, you seem serious about it. So uh, what I want to do, because I think this makes the most sense for you, uh, is just to put you through um, on the next stage there with uh, Jason, which is John's assistant. And, you know, this is where you can sit down with him uh, on a Zoom call. Uh, you'll be able to see each other face to face and Jason can really go through your situation with you uh, in more detail and, and ultimately determine, you know, if it's a clear fit here for you and a path forward to succeed. Okay. Uh, he can really share with you some of the methods and the strategies that John teaches, you know, his clients to get them on that, that road to financial freedom, you know? So, um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's put you on another call. Great. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Let me, um, give me one second. Let me open up Jason's calendar here.
And what uh, what time zone are you in, Scott? Eastern. Eastern, okay. It's actually pretty full today. Unless you're, you're available later this evening, like after seven, you can make something work. Or are you available tomorrow morning? Um, do you want to do tomorrow evening? Tomorrow evening? Yeah. Okay. Um, he's got about uh, you know, between four and five available, and then again after seven. After seven is fine tomorrow. Yeah. If that's yeah. okay with with uh, Jason. Yeah. Well, he's on Eastern Time Zone too, so uh, it shouldn't be too bad. That's probably about the latest he would take a call. So, how about uh, does seven twenty work for you? Sure. Perfect. And you're sure that that's a good time for you? You're going to be home at that time? Yep. Okay, perfect. So I just sent you a calendar invite. Do you mind just checking your email real quick and see if you got that? Sure. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Perfect. Yep. Okay. And you're familiar with Zoom? Yep. Awesome. Okay, now, so just before I let you go, you know, two things I need from you uh, to be ready for your call tomorrow with Jason. Uh, number one, you're going to be home. That's great. You know, just make sure you're in a quiet space. Um, you know, have a pen and paper ready for with you to, have, you know, take some notes and stuff like that. And just make sure that you're on an actual computer, you know, whether it be a desktop or a laptop, okay? That will be hands-free and, and no distractions. Okay. Yeah. I have my, I have a personal laptop. Perfect. And then just the other thing, Scott, um, just spend like five or 10 minutes and just write down, you know, maybe three goals uh, that you would like to accomplish within the next 12 to 24 months. Okay. It's very important that you get really clear on, you know, your vision on what you want to achieve. You know, that way Jason can really help map out a path forward for you for your success. Sure thing. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that. Perfect. All right, Scott, man, that's pretty much it. Congratulations. Um, get you through the next stage there. And um, yeah, Jason will get on the phone there and really, you know, work out your situation for you and, and get you on the right path here. Great. I right. appreciate uh, your time. Thank you. Yeah. You're very welcome, Scott. Okay, man. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Take care. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.